adventure, comedy, mystery, and romance. Aspects of all the best stories. But we promise none of these, because this is Haphazard Fiction. Previously on The House of Morpheus. You know what? I think there's something in that. Timothy has not made friends with you yet. A little boy put it with a catcher's mitt in, and his face is covered with gore. And he's just standing there with his big grin on his face, like he's waiting for you to throw the bar. Um, Apparently, we have to go find a guy named Poet. Did you say Poet? Your best bet of getting an actual location is from the survivor. Mr. Haynes, I think you need to tell me where Poet is. Are you Deshaun Lincoln from, from Time for Truth? Why, yes, I am. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. I mean, I have some stuff at the house that I can show you. I have five doors in here. Someone's entered into a room forcefully. You sit on the couch and she puts her hands on your, on your thigh. Oh, okay, that's fine. Man, you go up on her and she laughs. And as soon as she, she laughs, boom, they pop out. And she just chomps down on you. She scratches your arm. And you take uh, two damage, um, ignore armor. It, it, it ignores both armor? Yeah. And there's a man standing in the doorway, and he's got two little kids by the neck. I'm going to shoot him in the head. And as he shoot him in the head, he crushes the windpipes of these two kids. Chamberlain's downstairs. What are we doing now? Am I, I, Am I going in? I screamed to him like, kick open the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get back to the car, and there's an envelope on the windshield under the wipers. What's in the envelope? You have found my pawns, this I know, so on this journey we now must go. A display of strength I must now show, that when I'm vexed the blood must flow. The daughter's fair with skin aglow, soon to be just another foe. The father's kiss, a tale of woe, to the lover lost the pain will grow. I welcome you on these mounds of snow, to bargain thus for another doe. But if this gift you can't bestow, then battle forth to the Midnight Crow. So as we're getting back in the vehicle, everybody, the uh, there was a note left on a poem left from poet on my windshield. Your the you know newest it? arch nemesis. He definitely knows it. It's his name. Wait, we have an arch nemesis. <laughs> Potentially. When did that happen? Wait, uh, uh, last game. At last at last session, you did find out for information as to where his loft was. And instead of going directly after him, you decided to follow the lead of the girl coming to your apartment. And that's where you oh, had a trap set up for you. Yeah, I was hoping. Well, you were hoping it wasn't a trap. You were hoping to have some one-on-one quality alone time, and it didn't quite work out as as planned. And you did let the uh, the slicing, dicing Wendigo Chamberlain loose <laughs> in I an apartment that building. Was not me. I that was that psychopath right there. I stand by that decision. Well, of course you did. You're the one that also shot a vampire that led to the killing of two children. You can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. I'm just saying. So. <laughs> All right. So we have two, two of our so-called adventurers, once again, have been hurt last game. We have uh, Deshaun Lincoln, who was fed on. By a young vampire mistress and, and shot. shot. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Malcolm Creed. By my own teammates. <laughs> that wasn't direct. It was a, a through and through shot. He did not foresee happening. I don't believe it. You don't believe that he didn't shoot you on purpose? Yeah, he's magic. He he does make a valid point with that statement. He's he's not that kind of magic. No, how would I know? It, that? it is a kind of magic. You're about to get a kind of magic. Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's the sound that's going to be made. And Detective, Cas- oh. Detective Caspian T. Barnes was scratched as well. And in that scratch, uh, some of the blood from the dying vampire was able to make its way into those wounds, which caused him to take uh, uh, some pretty heavy damage to the arm. So... Both of you are not in the greatest of shape. You are not feeling too good. Uh, based on that, uh, it, it is the smart decision 
to head back to the, uh, the Morpheus house and attend to the wounds. What kind of, what kind of medical <laughs> setup do we have at the house? Is that something that, um, we have a big meat cutting slab. You could probably throw them on in the kitchen. I mean, do we have a, uh, access to like, a? I assume if we have people in the police department in our pocket, we probably have a EMT somewhere. <laughs> I, I mean, yes. If, if they need it. Yeah. You actually, there's a, uh, not even really an EMT. You have a vet on file. Oh. <laughs> or hell, why can't we just go by the, well, that might answer. Well, that could also be kept quiet, I guess. Go by the emergency room. And, and, and explain why somebody got shot. The police automatically get involved. Regular police get involved. With I am police. police, so. You know, who makes a fair point? He could just be the I'm just defending a citizen on the streets from a gunman. Well, wouldn't then we have to worry about Damn, I like people that. who aren't in our pocket, like reporters and stuff that hang out in front of the emergency I'll room. I'll just so shoot that might be a bad idea. I need to get my connect the dots. It says I'm supposed to do it at the beginning of each mystery. All right. Excellent. Excellent call. Go ahead and uh, do it. I know we were, we're always forgetting that if anybody else has a, something. So at the beginning of every mystery, um, I'm able to look for wider patterns as we're going through the mystery. Um, basically telling me kind of what's going on. Like a, it's a connect the dots. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, um, what's, your, what's your total on that roll? I need to get a 10 plus, so let's see what I get. Uh, I got uh, two sixes, so that's 12 plus my three sharp, so I got a 15. All right, so what does that give you? Does that give you? That gives me three holds. And what do you get to do with those three holds? How do they work? Um, I get to spend them during the adventure, and I get to ask you, the keeper, if uh, any of the following questions. So one is, uh, for example, is this person connected to current events more than they're saying? Um, I can find when the next critical event's going to happen. Uh, I can try to deduce what the monster wants from somebody. Um, I can see if they're connected to previous mysteries um, and if there's like a bigger picture type thing. Okay. All right. So when you're ready to use those, just remember you got those in your pocket. So go ahead and throw those out. Yep. So I, I'm never, I never forget. All right. So we're, we're in the vehicle we're heading. So are we heading back to just use whatever infirmary that you have access to in the, uh, in the mansion, or are you going to go to a hospital here? Well, how bad are people? That's what I'm trying to get at. I don't well, know how bad you would recognize the fact that the, what they're dealing with is not something that medical miracles are going to be able to handle. They need so who magical had assistance. You, you had a gunshot wound. Exorcism. This house is clear. He's not possessed. He is. <laughs> he looks possessed. <laughs> he has been fed on by a vampire. He is a bullet shot and he has vampire blood that has made its way into it. Captain Barnes has a scratch on his arm, which looks very red and very, very infected. Then we need to get um, Blaine over. You gonna make that phone call? Yeah, make that phone call and call him up. Uh, how do I make a phone call if I can't get a phone? <laughs> you have to use a rotary <laughs> phone. You have to go I someplace. Have, I have get a phone. Just tell well, me to call him. He can't talk, talk on the phone. Can't, yeah, remember? Unless you put it on speakerphone. Yeah. All, All right. right. Put it on speakerphone. Boop. This will be interesting. <laughs> Boop. A detective Blaine. Uh, um, Blaine. It's uh, Malcolm Creed. Oh yes, sir, Mr. Creed. Uh, I have a situation. I need you to come to the mansion. We have um, a uh, vampiric problem. Tainted blood. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you might be able to help. Uh, how how bad is it? Is, is, am I enough or do I need to bring Martha? Um, what kind of a party is this? Why did you say two, that name? <laughs> one bitten, one just exposed. It's my mother. And and who are the uh, who are the victims? Lincoln and uh, Barnes. You, you recognize that Barnes is going to have issue with this. Well, he has two choices in the matter. He's going to Barnes. Understood. Up. We're on our way. Yep. We'll meet you there. Wait, how come it's only him that's going to have a problem? This sounds like some Lincoln. You might have a problem as well. Did it on the wife. 
<laughs> oh my gosh! Hey man, I don't know what's happening, but when when we when we get back to the the mansion, I pull Barnes aside here. Um, oh, how long will it be before <coughs> before uh, how long will it take a uh, Blaine to get there? I, I, I mean, from where you're coming from, you'd, if he Probably got in right away, you'd get there about the same time. same time. In fact, you guys are pulling up and you actually see his car outside the entrance to the driveway to get into your property. You're about to be exposed to some things that um, they're truths that you need to see. Uh, it's going to save your life. If you say no, you die. If you say yes, you'll live. Just accept what you see and recognize that it's for the better. At this point, I, I don't really have much you. choice, and I'm getting accustomed to oddities being a normality in this group. So that goes for you too, Lincoln. Yeah, man. Uh, sure. Because you know what will happen. And what's 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 going on? What's that? You're you, you've been exposed to vampire blood. They're gonna give you to the One kid in the attic. Happen. You turn or you die. Unless. Barnes can give me two options so Unless far. Barnes can help you, and then you live. Okay. Okay. I, I'm not sure why I, there's a problem with me. You notice that, you know, Barnes, your your arm is on fire. In fact, I mean, it's like tingling down into your 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 you know your fingertips, but where it where the scratch happened on your on your forearm is, I mean, it's. It's starting to stink and almost like gangrene. Uh, Deshaun, yours is very much the same. Your chest, it hurts, but it's such a dull ache going through that you don't recognize how deep, you know, how bad it is. I mean, shit, you got a fucking bullet in you. And <laughs> why are we not at the hospital, motherfucker? <laughs> so they, you, you pull up to the. Uh, Wait, are we PG? No. Okay, oh, no, we crossed that line a long yeah. time. <laughs> well, I'm not even sure. Yeah, 12 hours later, are we PG? There's going to be a lot of bleeps Yeah, going there's on. an explicit marker on our... <laughs> Is it black? All right, so you, you pull up, and they're standing outside, and you see the, the bus coming out front to pick them up and bring them back inside. Back inside the house, um, they've taken you into the kitchen. Um, You're bleeding. Come with us. I, I, well, that's where the beer is, too. To the kitchen. <laughs> I mean. um, it's after you guys get in, Chamberlain walks in. He's like, oh, man, this is going to make a mess. Damn it. You're going to make a mess. All right. On the table. Both you guys. On the table. I'm like, you You made the mess, sir. Uh, I, the only, one, the only how, one who's like beat bleeding, you back bleeding. How did, how did he beat you back? He was, he was slicing and dicing in when you guys left. Chamberlain actually beat you guys back. He's a Wendigo. I know. I don't have to ask why. No. I know exactly why he beat us back. He he they're probably right. Some questions he probably, are he, he, as hell. he probably ate the kids' bodies and stuff. Oh, what a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you just assume when he just ate some dead kids. We don't have to assume. We know what he does. He's not going to be. He's going to be like, oh, that's some good meat. Now you say bro, meat. Meat. So that's some good meat. You uh you get you you guys both lay on the table and 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 Captain uh Captain Blaine walks in with his wife. Um you've seen pictures of her. You've never actually met Martha, but you've seen pictures of her on his desk and whatnot. And uh are you sure they're ready for this? They all have their rings on still, so yeah, you, 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 everybody knows they look like normal people. But their eyes right now have like a soft yellow glow to them. Um, they're not natural. What does she look like? I mean, she's uh, like fairly attractive. I mean, she's maybe a, you know, middle-aged woman, you know, maybe mid-40s. Kind of soccer mom kind of look, you know. So, I mean. All right. So, who's who's got it worst? I, d- I do. All right. Um, Martha, you're going to take care of. Of, of the detective and I'm going to go ahead and take care of, uh, no, no, no. Oh yes. This is the way it's got to be. If you want to live through this, that, why is he get the girl? No, you're getting the girl. No, you're no. getting the girl. Yes. Oh. Captain Barnes is getting Martha. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm not I'm Captain not. Barnes, detective Barnes and I'm not really, Lincoln Deshaun. I'm not into this. Yeah. So it's not that kind of getting, I don't know so, what's happening. 
Your eyes are going to turn yellow. You showed up and you brought your wife and I was saying we're going to party. Barnes, yeah. it's, uh, you're going to be able to explain what you are better than I am. So he's got you down on the table and um, Jen, could you could you hold him down? This might be problematic. With pleasure. So we got to pull a bullet out of So he's going to try to hold you down. Are you going to fight him? Yeah. I'm holding you down. Why, why are you trying to hold me down? Because like, this relax. is going to hurt. Okay. They're trying. What's going to hurt? They're going he, to help us. Just relax and let them do what they have to do so you survive this. I don't know who he is, what he's going to well, do. First of all, we have to extract the bullet. Oh, no. Okay. I, I, I've, I've got that under control. So to t- he, he comes and he gets on. He stands over you. All right. <laughs> okay. This is going to seem awkward. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is going to seem awkward. And he rips your, chair, your shirt apart for okay. through the hole so he has access to your skin. Suck it. Martha. Martha's, <laughs> yeah, no. Martha. Martha's done the same thing. She's ripped your 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 arm apart or your this shirt apart bullshit. so that we get access to it. <laughs> Before you know what's happening, he lunges his face down on top of your chest <laughs> and starts sucking on your wound. I smacked the shit out. No, I'm holding you down. No. Chamberlain, hold, hold him. Chamberlain goes and starts holding you. I smacked the hand. shit out the cop. <laughs> you, you, and I smacked the shit out of Chamberlain. He's holding you tight, bro. He's way stronger between, than be, you. Between me and Chamberlain, they I think we got you down. I'm smacking the shit so out of people. So he leans back. He spits the bullet out. He I just sucked it right out of you. Don't care. Your chest, it burns. Smack like, in the face. No. <laughs> you, you can't. You're being held by two people, man. The moment, Brooke, that I get let go, I'm smacking people okay. in the face. <laughs> Man, Detective Barnes, same thing happens to you. You see kind of, you see no, the it's captain, not the same you're kind of paying attention to the captain. It's not exactly. <laughs> it is not you, the same thing. You see, you're, you're, you're watching the captain more because he's your captain. You know him. And you're not it's like, okay, it's yeah, my that's arm. Why he's what watching the hell? Anymore. She grabs your arm and she just pl- plants her face over the, over the, your forearm where you yeah. got cut and just starts sucking like with this crazy intensity. And... You 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 actually hear her making hmm kind of sounds like she's really enjoying it. This is, this it's is, almost dirty. My it's dirty. almost dirty. <laughs> almost dirty. <laughs> this is bullshit. I must smack the shit out of everybody, dude. For you. Detective Barnes, for I mean, t- yeah, a second later, she's she she pulls off of you, and she, and then all of a sudden she starts spitting out red blood. There's little specks of black in it, but she's spitting out like she's disgusted all of a sudden. However, the the captain is still like going at it. I mean, just just still just like drinking in whatever he can suck out of that wound. You being sucked on by a guy is what he's saying. Hardcore. Not more than probably about 15, 20 seconds after. I mean, you're, you're failing. Not home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he steps back and then all of a sudden you notice he's kind of, he, there's there's black around his lips, but there's a little bit of red kind of and he starts kind of gagging real quickly after that. And uh, I'll be he starts he, he goes back and puts his hands on his on his knees and, you know, Chamberlain's still holding you down. I'm going to let go at this point and just kind of like back you, up. All right. Let go, Chamberlain. Oh, yeah, you got all right. He smack in back. the face. You smack Chamberlain? Yes. <laughs> you smack Chamberlain in the face. He looks hard at you. Did you mean to do that? Yeah. Chamberlain let Chamberlain oh. Chamberlain let it slide. <clears throat> oh. Oh, you're just lucky I ate today. <laughs> <laughs> he steps back. He walks, he takes a couple steps back. Yeah, I also did the same thing. So you slapped Chamberlain in the face? No, no. I, 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 he slapped Chamberlain, Chamberlain in the face. No, no. I still took a couple steps back. After he, after he kind of gags out a little bit for a second there, he kind of he kind of steps up. Uh, ca- the captain does. He steps up. He's like, gentlemen, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Creed here. He, he reaches into his pocket and hands you out like he has a little tin in his hands. The worst of it's gone, but they're going to have to they're going to have to take care of things. Uh, basically like an antibiotic ointment. Just, just have them place this on their wounds and just keep them, keep them covered and keep them moist. If they, if they miss it or if they run out, you have to let us know because it's, it's not gone and it won't be gone for quite a while. All right. So is it like a paste or something that he? Yes. Yeah. It's a self. My it's nightmares a self. won't be gone. So I'm assuming we have like a first aid kit somewhere in here. Oh, with, of course, with of course, you have minor infirmary type equipment. You can do, you know, stitches and stitch so them I'll, up. I'll take care of them. I'll I'll put this off and wrap wrap them up and stuff. So while um, somebody, if anybody wants to ask a question, 
I can't. I think I'm going to lie down real quick. It was, <laughs> so it was quite disturbing, and I just lost a bunch of blood. Oh, it was quite disturbing for you. I heard it from here. It was not disturbing. I would imagine uh, Lincoln over here probably is having uh, trouble because he's lost more blood. He's lost. He's, 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 he's woozy. Yeah, he's woozy. It's not the only thing I lost. <laughs> I so said I'd like to being perfectly fine in this situation. I'd like to be like, so what exactly are you, Captain? Martha and I are uh we're ghouls. Ah fucking oh sorry. I forgot <laughs> we're recording. I knew it. Sorry, my well, bad. We've said f- we've already established we got the black label. No, like I got I got excited about being right. That's what it was, not about cousin. <laughs> just getting a rager over there. We're just we're honestly, we're basically like normal people. We just eat other people. S- suck blood. Well, they, not Get you, off on it. We have to to survive. Oh, just don't try eating me. That's my only thing. Well, you're alive, so no, Wait. that's not going to happen. Mr. Creed, yes? I, I have to be honest here that I'm a little uncomfortable with the... I, I've noticed the majority of the company you keep eats people. We don't We don't eat live people. That Again, I didn't specify whether we're alive or dead. Again, the concern is they eat people. Everybody in your company eats PayPal. I don't eat people. Only uh, only the people you've met. I don't eat people. I don't eat yeah, people. Yeah, I have doesn't to say I don't believe you at all. I'm sorry. You've seen what I eat. Steak. Meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, chamber, <laughs> that Chamberlain brings you. Convenient. Chamberlain steps out after at hearing you say, "Oh, uh, I guess I can, I can take y'all back to your car now. I, I've I've got your steaks ready, so that way you, you should be good for the next few days. Uh, is is it all right, uh, Mr. Creed? If I if I go ahead and take the yeah. the, the Blaine's back to the car, yes. All right, I, we I got this. Uh, you gentlemen have a good night, and, and I hope I hope everything comes out okay. Because uh, yeah, y'all are a good time. All right, bye." <laughs> and <it's silly. laughs> I love Chamberlain's character so much. God, it's hey, fantastic. John, you guys are alone. You're gonna have to take uh, take some of this in stride. I guarantee you, I've had I had the same reactions. And then you started eating. Why well, don't mean? Not unless you become a ghoul or you become a vampire. I stopped you from becoming a vampire. So there's that. Also stop you from becoming dead. You got me into the position where I got bit by a vampire. You chose to still be there when we told you not to. I'm going you to make a sandwich and watch with what happens. Me and prepared. We actually we all did well. Yeah, everybody participated by, and got. Josh has bad memory. We got the job done. We were all in the same car when we got there, <laughs> so I don't know how I got, got there. We got the job done. I'll take whatever medicine I got to take, and I'm going to go to bed. All right. You just found out your boss was a ghoul and he eats people. At this point, I don't care. I need to sleep. I think he's in Before shock. I get in to start drinking. Understood. I'm going to go sleep. Understood. All right. You, uh, everybody going to head up to head up to beds and, and take care of your, your random sleepy times. Do you have a plan to go somewhere else? Mr. Deshaun? That's possible. This is Brooke from HHF Studios, a.k.a. The Keeper. Thanks for joining us for Episode 6 of The House of Morpheus. We appreciate you tuning into our show, and if you like what you hear, go and check out our Patreon. At patreon.com or through the link on our page at haphazardfiction.com, you can join as a patron for as little as 3 bucks a month. You can help us grow our channel and provide even more content to the masses. As a patron, you also get access to exclusive never-before-heard content. And if you haven't already, join us on social media and check out our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter pages. They'll help keep you up to date on what's going on here in the war room and give you a peek behind the scenes. And finally, thanks to Evil Hat who produced this awesome game. They're not a sponsor, but definitely deserve credit for producing Monster of the Week, which is a foundation for the House of Morpheus. You can get your copy through their site or head to your local comic and game shop like The Dragon's Lair, where I picked up mine. Thanks again for listening, and we take you back to the House of Morpheus. As you start going up the stairs, uh, Jared, you get up to the second floor, and back at the back end of the door, 
you see a little boy standing there with two other kids sitting right in front of him with his hands on their shoulders. And they're the two children that were killed by the vampire you are that you shot worse. in the face. And he's just sitting there looking at you. This is one of those things where I'm going to kind of like walk up. And as I do, I kind of like stop and like, you know how you like see the Adam's apple move is kind of one of those like hard, like the Adam's you know, apple swallows movie? move. Yeah. Oh, like a big oh, like swallow. What? Yeah. What movie is that? And as a, uh, as I do that, I just kind of look over and I go, as I, I look over at the one boy I already know. And I go, are they going to be staying with us? He you does a, a shrug. He just, like, uh-huh. It doesn't matter that I killed him. <laughs> like, well, let me let me play my character. Let me play my character. So it's one of those where um, are the kids are they, the other two. Are they looking at me? Oh, yeah. Straight ahead. Can I read any kind of facial expression? No, it's, yeah, like it's just blank. Disappointment. It's very stoic. <laughs> okay. Fair. fair. Complete okay. stoicism. You fucking kill me, bro. I just kind of look at uh, I'll kind of like look at them for a second, then look down and be like, it was never my intention for you to die. You hear some knocking behind you and you turn around and look to see what the knocking is. And there's a baseball rolling down the stairs behind where you came up. You turn around and they're gone. Son of a bitch. And I'm just going to go to my room. All right, everybody. Everybody's going to the rooms. A little shame, shame, shame motion going Dude, on. Dude, for real. Yeah, like me, I feel bad about that. But my character, I mean, got to stick to it. Where are you going to go? I'm going to grab a few beers. Okay. If there's beers. So, cool. yeah, there's I'm going to wait for everybody to kind of go to their rooms. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to go see what the... Hiding the dumb waiter. No, what? You're going to hide in the dumb waiter again? <laughs> Curl up and sleep in the dumb waiter? No. I'm going to go see what Timmy's doing. Yeah. Tim, Timmy. He, uh, you, you get to the second floor and the door is locked to the attic. Okay. Timmy. I mean, nothing happens. Nothing's going to happen. You, you sit out there and drink your, your beers on the steps and pass out on the stairs. I talked to Timmy you away. All right. You keep, you, you have a great conversation with yourself. He's not. You, you That's fine. Okay. He's listening. It's a fucking ghost. What's he yeah. doing? What has he got to do right now? He's got two other little kids to play with right now is what he's got to do. I don't care. You don't know that. That was, you didn't that was good, though, dude. <laughs> Bringing it in like that. That was I like that. Yeah. <laughs> really, really tugged on my feels. I, I appreciate that. You should have just looked at the little kid and said, hey, don't worry. I'll make, I'll bring you some more friends soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's an orphanage down the street. <laughs> you, <laughs> Malcolm, you, you get downstairs and Bonnie's waiting for you and, and laid out over over uh, in the back corner where your bed is. She's, you see you've got your like, you know, smoking jacket laid out and stuff where you don't smoke unless you smoke a pipe or something. But No, I don't smoke. But, you know. You have a smoking jacket, of course, because it's the loungewear of my air. Yeah. Yeah. So, so are, are you are you all right, sir? Yeah, that was my first time out in a very long time, and it was um, adventurous, to say the least. Well, um, I haven't done anything like that in a long time. Is 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 there any in any news? I mean, did, did anything come of it? Did you did you find poet or? We found a poem from Poet. Oh. I hand it to her. I let her read it. All right. She she reads it. Uh are are you are you are you gentlemen are are you thinking of, of going through with this? I mean that's uh, that's a lot to ask. I'm still actually absorbing what it said. I don't think it really hit the others. Well, they, they haven't said anything. I, if if I picked up on it right away, but um, well, I've I, I guess I should probably bring this back to back to uh, the main office and see see what they have to share with us. So why don't why don't you get some rest? And I guess we'll before you go back me, in the morning. I copy it. I write it down. Oh, so I got to copy it. So I just, so I have a copy of it. All right. Yeah. So. <clears throat> All right. Next morning, uh, Josh, you're 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 feeling back to normal. Uh, so once I know everybody's downstairs, I'd like for my character to walk down. Okay. 
And then I, I already have some stuff I want to say and whatnot. So just let me know. When it's, yeah. When, oh. Just let me know when it's my turn. Okay. I mean, in the morning, everybody wakes up and, you, you know, you see Deshaun Lincoln sl- sleeping, passed out against the door to the attic. <laughs> I just want to like walk over like, like beer kick cans him. and bottles all around him. I just like want to kick him and be like, wake up. He kicks you awake. Uh, what are you doing? I was like, have you read this poem at all? Or did you just get drunk and pass out? Yeah, we read it the other day. That was last night. Yeah, that's what I meant. No, dude. why Wait. you gotta call me on the spot, man? <laughs> <laughs> I just be like, I it's, think it's been a couple weeks. Okay, well, I, I, mean, I was like, well, you just you just get drunk and pass out. So it might have seemed like a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to look at you and be like, get dressed. I was like, we need to meet up and talk about this and figure out where to go from here. And I just want to walk down the stairs looking for our good detective. <laughs> Right on top of that, Rose. All right. You're going to wake everybody up? I'm sure. Pro- I mean, it, good, good uh, police detective. You're probably up bright and early, right? Yeah, I'm up. I've already gone down to the kitchen. I'm making myself some breakfast. And I've got I've got a copy of the, the poem there. Okay. He's so down I, in the kitchen when you get there. I just looked at you. I was like, have you read this poem at all? I have. Been going over it. I can't make heads or tails of any of this stuff. This guy's got to be leaving a clue somehow in this thing. Well, uh, we we have to start thinking outside of normal normal things. And it, if you look down at my characters, you know, what he's got in front of him, the piece of paper's got lines and notes all over it because I'm trying to decipher it. So I kind of like walk up, and what I'll do is I like I lean against the counter you're on, like like butt first, kind of lean into it, like have my back to the window, and I just be like, I was like, well, at least it seems you're doing something. And I just kind of like. Rub my head and go, this thing is way too much for me. This whole thing is, he's, I was like, this is never what I planned on being in. Yeah, I can't imagine any of us woke up and and said, you know what? I want to go hunt vampires and wendigos. For real. Um, Finding out my boss is something of a disturbing, whatever he is. um, Apparently he said he's a ghoul. No, I heard him. Um. I'm going to keep making heads or tails of this and I'm, I take my breakfast and I take the paper and I walk over to a table and I just go sit down and start eating. I've got a highlighter and a, and a pencil and I'm just going through it. I'd like to sit down with you and just kind of go over it with you. See if we can't figure anything up. You going to join them in the kitchen? Deshaun? No, man, they're, they're doing their own thing. I got to make a phone call. And, and where are you going to go do that at? Outside. Like a normal human being. Where outside. Where? You're going to walk all the way up to the, the front of the property. I guess so. You have to go to miles outside of the property to be able to make Jeez, a phone call. Man, or, your fucking house or sucks. If you want, it's fucking you, 2018, dude. <laughs> you, you, you have your little magic fair day. It's 2019. Closet. You have your magic closet that allow you to, allows you to have access to technology. I guess I'll use the. Fairy you can walk day. outside if you do not want access I mean, to you that closet. Just do it in my room, right? I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, a certain bitch. <laughs> Buy me back, buddy. Anyways, I guess I'll go to the Faraday cage. Whatever. I'm still drunk. All right. So uh, a drunk Deshaun Lincoln walks down. He's getting ready. It's like he's walking over to the. And you're upright and early, of course. Bonnie's not made it back yet. She's normally back by now. I mean, like you're have up I, and she's ready for have you. Have I been told the stuff that we talked about earlier? I know. You, you've known. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just laugh. Um. When you're done, we have to go over some details from yesterday. Okay. I have some more information to give the team. I'm fucking drunk, dude. (laughs) It might help. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. My feet will go on this side. Yours go over there. Sound good? Yes. All right. Take a plane footy with you over a little bit of leg room. The, the two brothers are. Uh... <laughs> hey, sometimes incest is the best. When you put your brother to the test. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. Whoa. Good Deshaun, game, guys. I'll see y'all never. Deshaun Lingen out. Bonnie, Bonnie comes in through her doorway. Uh, are, are, are you gentlemen ready for uh, debriefing? Are we all downstairs? No. Nope. Oh, she came in? Yeah, she just oh, came okay. in. okay. All right. I didn't know that she came in. Okay. Is everybody down here? No. The other two are upstairs, apparently going over the poem and uh, eating no, we're breakfast. In the, we're in the kitchen. 
in the kitchen upstairs. Oh, oh yeah, you're, yeah. Yeah, they're downstairs. Well, I wait. I mean, well, I don't well, want to go up there and get them. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, if you would get your partners, we could get started and we can fill you in on all the situation if you would like. Before I make a smart comment, I thought I went in the cage. Well, she stepped out while you were walking up to the cage. Uh, he, I, he told you, he said you were going to have a conversation with you. I, I need a second. Okay. You, you just, go, a, just, a, just, just a quick second. Okay. You step into your cage. Okay. I'm going to send a quick text out to my net friends, which is actually a skill on my uh, character sheet. And uh, I'd actually like to see if anybody knows anything, if there's like a bar or any place called the Midnight Crow. A bar? No. Or any place. Uh, you get no I'm trying back. to think I'm smart. The, <laughs> the Midnight Crow, um, from what they're... The, Internet chatter is that's a person. The right. Midnight Crow is a moniker of a person. It's an alias. Well, all right. Where's this person freaking? Uh, th- there's nothing. The Daylight Crow. <laughs> all right. That, that, that's it. Okay. You step uh, out? Yeah, I go back up. I was just trying to use my skills. Yes. No. It, you, I mean, you found out you know that the Midnight Crow is a person. It's not a place. Right, I'll take that. Ooh. So he comes and gets everybody to come downstairs so that way you can have a debriefing with Bonnie and uh, and uh, Mr. Creed. So I make my way down. I am take a seat at the table like usual. Gen- gentlemen, there, there's much information that has come to light and some of which has already been shared with, with Mr. Creed. And um, we, we, I guess, believe that it is time for you to to know the depth of your connections. Is, is that is that correct, Miss Creed? Is that where you were planning on taking this? Yes, and for, for for them to be effective, and for their own safety, they need to know. They need to know these things, no um, matter how unpleasant. All right. Do, do you want me to debrief based on the pam- the packets I have, or do you want to share with them? What do you have? All right, let's, let's, let's gonna, we're gonna start with you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Barnes, Captain, or Detective, sorry, Detective Barnes. Um, a few months ago, I don't know if you remember the, the joint task force that you worked with Captain Blaine's team in taking down the sex trafficking ring of, of Madame Thoreau. Do you remember that? Yes. And, And do you remember your, your SWAT attire and the, SWAT shotgun that you were wielding when you went into said ba- said fight. I pretty much, yeah. All right. Well, if you if you do recall, the the weapons and whatnot were supplied by Captain Barnes's team and Captain Barnes very specifically, and you were the one to take down Madame Thoreau. Correct. Well, Madame Thoreau was a vampire. And not only was she a vampire, she was the concubine of the Midnight Crow. (laughs) His first lieutenant, as well as poet. And, 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 and he was upset. She was his, she was his mistress. They were together for a long time. And she was of a very special bloodline. When she was human. And, and Mr. Lincoln, this is, this is where we come to you where a few months back, I don't know if you remember your, your, uh, I don't know, your show up that you garnered from the dark web. Time for truth. F- time for truth. Correct. You, you were able to pull some information from the Illini- Illuminati f- t- where they track super genes. Do you remember that? And bloodlines that go back like to, you know, Genghis Khan and Charlemagne and some of those. You remember those? Hell yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you mentioned a young, a young woman, for example, from San Antonio, whose genes go back to Charlemagne. Well, Madame Thoreau was of the same line. I knew it. And the Midnight Crow wants a replacement. Son of a For bitch. his lost love. And he believes that he can condition a young, beautiful woman from that bloodline to become his new mate. This is the part where you tell me it's not my wife. Oh, oh no, it's oh, her. Oh no, it's definitely <laughs> your wife. 
Oh, at this point, my character would kind of just like stand up and just like, I'm just like kind of sitting in. Do like, y'all all understand where we're, how we're all tied together now? Oh, yes. And I understand we need to kill this crow or whatever his name is now. In the poem, it says to, I welcome you on these mounts of snow. Are we having to go to the mountains for this? Well, you're in Denver. Obviously, but is there, is there a specific one that this Midnight Crow is known to frequent? Do we know this? Well, it's Denver. It's the Mile High City. We're in mountains. I, I don't. He doesn't own a particular peak that we know of. I think he knows that at least one of them, one of us has just come here. Because it's following or preceding. In the direction that he's gone. Well, the line after to bargain, he's talking about who he wants to bargain with. And I'll come to that in a second. And then the f- line before that is uh, to the lover lost, the pain will grow. I welcome you on these mounts of So he's, uh, I think he's referring to both himself and me and you. But the line after that, the bargain thus. For, for another, another dough. dough. He wants another female. So here's our options. And from what we know of the crow, he, when he lays out uh, uh, an option like this, he, cause I've never seen him. I don't know where he's at. I'm all we know is he's hundreds of years old. And he used to be one of us, but we're generations ago. So Let's see, there's that word us. House of Morpheus? Yeah. When, 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 and we mean us as in the inner circle, the honoroi, not the aspects, which are you. So he was one of us, not one of y'all. He had rank. More people that eat people. No, he <laughs> will. Maybe now. Yeah. But before he was a, he was a man just like us. Well, and I'm a woman, but all not, you know, I, he was human. All I know and all I've been been privy to because I'm not even told everything is he fell during a hunt and um, what happened after that is a mystery to me but he's gained in power he has a network how do we kill him not easy that's all I need to know not easy because it's not just him we would have to go through he has a network that spans the globe we need to destroy his his lieutenants first no, and, and we need to get and, to him. If he has my wife and he's trying to condition her. We don't her, know where he's at. How long has your wife been missing, bro? Going on four months. With vampires. The bang will grow. Like I said, he has a certain level of honor from what we, of a sort that we know of. If he says that he hasn't done anything, he hasn't done anything. Um, physically. Mentally, I can't, I can't imagine what anybody's going through. So where do we start? Is it Poe? Let me, let me finish. He, the option is that he's giving out. If we give him someone else, she lets her go. That's not an option. I'm glad to hear you say that because that's not the answer I thought I would hear. I can dress and drag. But I... (laughs) You, what? you weren't a very <laughs> you weren't a very convincing electrician. What makes you think you <laughs> my, my guess and Bonnie, you can correct me if you want. I think Lincoln over here is probably going to be a key factor in this. He has that list. Well, he has access to the other people in the line. If it's not an attractive young woman, he, they won't care. They have access to the same list. We know what their targets are. They're, they've got their target. They've got her. But they have to have a secondary. If that's they, why if, they're saying they're willing to bargain. Yeah, they, and he wouldn't have said that unless he knew there was one. Well, so what if we find out who that person is and... That's what I'm saying. Have we, that person. But what if that's exactly what he wants us to do is just find this chick for him and then oh. he takes them both. Oh, no, this is a trap. Don't have any illusion. This is a trap. We have to counter his trap. I say we just go on guns blazing. But where? 
It hasn't worked for four months. That's what Bonnie says. We need to go through his lieutenants. We need to work our way up to him because we have no idea where he's at. Let me go get Poet. We don't know where Poet is. Then who do we know what is where? Well, we have to do a little bit of what I think you would call detective work. Give me everything we know on that, we do that know, you know on his lieutenants, and I'll Poet's start looking. No, Poet's known in two worlds. He's known in the supernatural world. He's also known in the mundane crime world. So we could use that aspect of his existence to track him down. And do I need to go back to my office and go into the the archives and start looking up his stuff? You can do that, or um, that'd be a good start. Um, We got to track him down. I think if we track him down, we can track another lieutenant down or there's ways to make vampires talk just like there are a way to make people talk. How do we do that? And that sounds like a way I can get behind. Oh, that sounds like a way I can get behind. As long as you're not above a little torture. Oh, oh I'm, I've seen I'm his way handiwork. He's that. not, he's not opposed to torture. Well, and I just look over at lane disapprovingly. I just kind of shrug. And as I look at you, I just kind of shrug and look away. Now I've never done it. I just know it from a uh, from an academic standpoint. I may have to get some information from from my elders, El Bonnie. Well, yeah, we we do we may have some additional information that may may be able to help in this situation. Um, we we have a gentleman that's actually agreed to help that is outside at the moment, um, out out in the barn. Uh, and, and Mr. Um, Mr. Weston, I hope you don't mind, but we let him take a look at your vehicle. Uh, yeah, no, so, I absolutely well, mind. Well, before you go, um, he's going to help you out and make your your vehicle work. So you are welcome. So now yes. you have the capability of, of you using your car. You don't let her talk to you like that, dude. Sounds like she just helped me out pretty. Sounds like immensely. she's a condescending bitch. <laughs> wow, that's that seems very unnecessary. We he's we, still we helped drunk. Him. He you can't to get his car. No, we can. I can because he he's choosing to use these hurtful words. Bonnie, sorry. I just kind of look at her and I no, go, "That's not the time." I am grateful for what you've done. Well, if if you would like to speak to uh, to Mr. Smith upstairs, uh, Rohan is is taking care of your vehicle, but he also has some additional information that could very potentially help you going forward. And and I'll let you get that information from him. Wesson, why don't you go ahead out there? Yeah, take a look at what he's doing in his car, and we'll head up there and we'll talk to Smith and Wesson in. Uh, Wait, did Smith and Wesson? Smith and Wesson? No. I constructed that whole thing on purpose. <laughs> well played. Well played. I didn't even put it together until you said that. Well done. Bravo. So we'll all head out there and talk to the Smith fellow. All right. I was like, I was like, thank you. And I just like walk off. You get upstairs and, and as you head, you you rush outside because of course he's he's messing he's, with he's, he's, he's messing with your baby. He's got his dick beaters all over my car. Yeah, yeah. man. You, you go out there and I mean he's a man. He's wearing a vest. He's got you know his flannel shirt on and he's leaned over your 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 uh, your car. And as you get close, you start seeing like everyone's like slight copper shimmers running under the hood. You know, just like lining the inside of the hood of your vehicle. And he slams the he slams the hood closed in the right way, like he lets it close the way it's supposed to. Okay, he doesn't like right. slam it like a jerk. I'm like I'm about to start pulling out a gun. But as he, as he closes it, he starts. He kind of runs his hand like he's appreciating, you know, your your vehicle. I was like, so you must be Mr. Smith. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. Uh, thanks for getting my car running. Oh man, it's the least I can do. I mean, considering you know, you don't let a beauty like this set out here and collect dust. I mean, you got to put her to work, right? That's exactly the point. Yeah. So, so where's your team? I mean, are you just, you, is it just you? Are you, are you for like, now? The oh. team will be on their way. All right. I heard besides the fact that you can get my car running, you may have some information that will help us out in our investigation. Well, yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, I did. I, I, I was able to find out that, uh, you know, I guess you're, you're going after poet and he's not somebody that I've been able to get anywhere near. And, uh, so I, I think that it, it'd be good for you to know, he uses a sin eater. A what? A sin eater. Uh, he, he's got somebody that helps him hide what he does from 
uh, the mythical world, magical world, however, however the house teaches you how to, you know. So he's like things. breaking magical rules and this person covers his tracks. Uh, exactly. Okay. And that's, that's a, that's a good analogy. That's perfect. All right. Yeah. You understand this shit. Yeah. They, I mean, it's the rest of these guys. No, I you know. don't understand any of this. Oh. I just wing it. Oh, well, good job. Good job winging it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, if you, if you get, get rid of a sin eater, he's going to have to come out in the open. Okay. So where's a sin eater at? Well, I mean, he's, you know, uh, probably over in his loft. That's where, you know, he generally address, please. Well, uh, he, I don't, I don't know the address. I just know he has a loft. Poet owns a loft. I haven't been there yet. You know, I haven't had a chance. Is the loft here in town, sir? Well, yeah. Okay. Poet, poet, poet runs Denver. Fantastic. If you guys remember, you actually got the address for a loft last game. Remember, you just chose not to go at that. The the guy that was in the hospital, that was in the co- that you oh, know yeah, that he, you went after, he yeah. gave you an address for poet where poet was. Can I see the pencil, please? I thought I wrote that down. I did not write that down though. Uh, can I have that address again, please, sir? All right, he gives it to you. I'm not gonna actually. I don't know actual oh, address. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I thought this was one, two, three, six, nine, sixty-six. I was Street. like, I was like, all right. I was like. Do you know when roughly Mr. Poet is there or no? I no. Okay. I'm not going by myself. This is this is not something you go into. Do you know when the Sin Eater is there? Um, you kind of got to look for you got to look for the lady. When you know his his lady comes around and she's she's kind of obvious. When if you when you get there, just 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 look for it. You'll know it when you see it's the it. lady, the sin eater herself. Uh, man, I don't know. I I really don't know. I, I look and I was like, "Thank you for the info." I was like, "I think my team should be joining us soon." Were you guys going to talk about something before? Is that why you wanted to send him out, or were you just sending him up first? Can we say that uh, that we were standing behind him? Sure. Yeah, we're standing behind. I mean, you, you, he rushes out because it's his car, but you guys could probably don't have to explain all that again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I was like, so I'm like, did you you guys catch all that? I knew most of that already. Of course you did. As I understand it, poet is pulling the strings on the city I have sworn to protect. Oh, you sound like Batman. <laughs> where's, the, <laughs> like, where's the drugs? Was like, yeah. Where's the bomb? Where are the drugs? Fuck faith. <laughs> so is, is, that, is that what I'm under, is that what I'm understanding here though? Is poet is basically the kingpin for Denver? For the most part. For a lot of stuff. Not everything. <clears throat> then he needs but, to he needs to be taken down even more so. Even more now because he, he happens to be that guy. He's the big bad guy of this whole city, then yeah. He's like, all right, I look over and I go. You're the boss here. I was like, when do we move? How how are uh, they doing health wise? Uh, are we all Barnes is good. Bar- Barnes is good now. Uh, Deshaun Lincoln, he's he's still at two harm. He needs at least a couple of days of rest. I'm going to have to disagree. My character sheet does not have that. So he's got two harm. He's still going <laughs> to need at least two two days of rest. You son of a bee. So he's got two harm. I <laughs> like he just rolled it hey. right up. Before I'm still good to go. Before uh I don't want to hang out for two days in this house. I don't think Fuck you, Timmy. <laughs> I don't Damn think man. I don't I honestly don't think going to hang in, out with him. Boss <laughs> going in crazy, guns blazing is the right way to approach this. So what if I just go and do some recon and look for the chick? I don't think I think we can do a drive by. I don't think you want to send the punisher in there doing the doing recon, you know. I think is your car's gonna be noticeable. Poet left a note on your car. Right. So if I he say, sees my car, maybe that'll entice them a little. I say we let... To not just destroy your car. We have two options. We could do it ourselves. Um, I think Barnes over here would probably be the candidate for it. The fake electrician? Although I think... Yes. <laughs> although I think they know us. They know... He knows who I am. I can see if I can get some friends to go by. That was the other option. They're not we connected have, to us at all. We can ask Blaine to put a, somebody outside. Put an APB. We could ask. We need you to get that your Illuminati list. I can get that. That 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 is the linchpin. That is a key to this whole thing. 
going back into town then, is everybody going to hop into uh, Wesson's vehicle, Wesson's car that has just been recently swooped, swooped up by uh, Rohan Smith? But yeah, I guess, I guess what are our options? We should probably, well, Chamberlain could take you in the bus. Yeah. Well, he has a car he can get to, well, we can drop him off at the police station. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I can just take it. Uh, I can take a police vehicle over to where we're going to You meet. probably has your, cause you, you probably have a car at the police station. Cause I also have access to everything in the, in the vehicle depot. So I'll be fine. Right. And <clears> then. And then the three of us probably go to Lincoln's house. Do you want to go back there? That's a bad idea. Do we have, or wherever you can do your research at, wherever that's at. Anywhere these guys are. Um, just someplace where probably our best bet is probably in the pub, in public. Because uh, I almost guarantee somebody's telling us. That's the Faraday cage is as unfollowed as I can get. Oh well, yeah, we could just stay here and do it too. Like I, I don't mean, have I, to actually go anywhere to get it with my contacts. Okay. Twenty eighteen, Mister Morpheus. <laughs> I well, I didn't know if uh, right, we gotta take him. Right? What? No, Cree Malcolm Cree. Oh shit, man, I can't remember. Anything. And it's twenty nineteen. I know. <laughs> um. Well, since we, I was gonna say since we were out, since we were out, um, um, we would we could. You know, to kind of kill two birds with one stone, but whatever. And, I'm going out either way. Um, we need to keep you close because I need your firepower in case something goes down. Right on. So, like I said, we're probably targets. All right. As you're separating. Um, so we've gone through two full chapters, um, which has given our characters an opportunity to uh, do some leveling with a combination of gained experience points through failure in roles as well as the fact that uh, based on gameplay, um, the, they have been able to attain two additional experience points per chapter. And with that, every single one of our characters has had a chance to level up. So uh, we'll go ahead and start off with you, uh, Mr. Wesson. Um, Jared, why don't you tell everybody how, how we decided to advance uh, your, your character and what he gained uh, from his leveling up. Alrighty, so uh, I, uh, from the improvements, like the little selection there, I actually took uh, Gain a Haven. So by doing this, basically what I've done is I have turned uh, my 69 Dodge Charger, the car that Wesson is absolutely in love with, I've turned that into an armory and a panic room. Basically, um, the armory is exactly what it sounds like. You know, you pop the trunk. I mean, you even open the doors. There's like revolvers kind of in pockets and stuff. It's, it's where I hold all my weapons and stuff when it's game time. Uh, the panic room. Now, this is where it gets really kind of cool. Uh, um, when you read it in the book, it says that, you know, it's a place I could hide out for days with food and, you know, reserves and stuff like that. But it also cannot be tracked magically. Basically, it helps it for what a car with that kind of noise output is. It can at least make it somewhat stealthy. Can't track it magically. So it's uh, it's really cool. And that's how I chose to level up my character just because it, it fits a character and it brings a good twist. Yeah, it makes sense with the, uh, you know, with the adjustments and advancements we just made on the vehicle, you know, with uh, making the engine work and whatnot. Kind of, you know, the one place your character feels comfortable and safe is only Haven would be his vehicle. Absolutely. Um, Detective Barnes, what did what did we do with uh, with your character, Josh? What did Detective Barnes update? Well, ironically, as a cop, I didn't have any buffs and tough when I made my my ratings. And so I ended up just leveling up and giving myself a plus one bonus to my tough. Good skill. call. So you can you can take a punch now and maybe throw a punch. So I can actually throw one. Good deal. All right. <laughs> Get hit by me. Mr. Deshaun, Mr. Lincoln. <laughs> Bro, what did we do to upgrade uh, Deshaun I, Lincoln? I increased my sharpness since I figured my character believed in this stuff. But now he's seen that stuff, so he's a little more, I guess. Privy and wise. I wouldn't say he's, that, he's, but. He's quicker to catch things. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a good catch there. I mean, it makes sense that as you're going forward, I mean, if you're going to see it and scenes believing, you, you've seen quite a bit so far, only to see more. Yeah, scene. I mean, I, I got shot in the chest. Well, after getting after chewed up, and you made out with a vampire, vampire yeah. dude. Well, I made out with a vampire. You did. Then you got sucked on by a dude. Then she bit me. I got shot in the chest, and a dude sucked on my chest. I mean, I've I've had a rough 
for fucking 24 hours. It's been a tough one. It's, it's been, been a good, tough man. few days. Do, do you need a hug? A professional I, hug? I, right now, I don't want nobody <laughs> touching me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Especially some, a man. I have some feelings to work through. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. All right, Mal- Malcolm Creed, what did we do to uh, your character, Rob? So I upped my um, my sharp. Uh, so I have a two now. It's maxed out a two. I believe that's the max. Okay. I, um, I think it is. And the reasoning behind that was I'm doing a lot of investigation, both reading team members, reading superiors, and trying to find the bad dudes. So... Figured it made sense. You're definitely our walking thesaurus of everything magical. Well, he'll have the, a lot of the understanding. So, I mean, I think with, you know, we, you've got your two researchers and you got your two, you know, power hitters. So hopefully, hopefully that gives you a good balance uh, as, as we continue to move forward. So, all right. So, uh, Detective Barnes, you know, Caspian, you, you make it back into uh, the office. Since last time I was there. Detective Blaine or Captain Blaine made it very, very obvious that I don't need to come to him. I can just come and go kind of like don't be seen undercover. Yeah. I'm just going to walk in as mundane as possible, like a normal, de- you know, regular non known detective and go straight to the archives and do my thing. And then once I'm done, I'll actually grab my vehicle, which is still there mm-hmm. and go do my other things on my way to meet up with them. Okay. You um, roll. Investigate a mystery. Was that going to be under sharp? Okay. It's plus sharp. You always roll two dice. Always roll two dice. Uh, six and a one. So seven. So what's your sharp? My sharp is a one. <laughs> so All I got right. So it's an eight. All right, you get to hold one. So you get to ask a question, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? That doesn't make any sense. Where did it go? So based on that, with that, you get a, you get a hold of one, and you are investigating um, not only Poet, but I believe you were sent in here to, to potentially go over uh, Morgan, correct? The person known as Lady Morgan, um, for that who works for Poet. Is that correct? I believe so. All right, so based on that... Um, in, in trying to find her, you get to get to look at, you know, what can you glean from what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What's going, what is it going to do? Um, what is being concealed here? I think I'm going to go with what's based on how everything else has gone. What's being concealed. Okay. So lady Morgan is in, in doing some research on her. She's actually a business owner. Okay. And owns um, in the law in a in a high rise apartment and uh, it down you know down towards downtown that's been converted to lofts. Mm-hmm. And based on the information that you got from the prisoner, you know from the fir- very first battle, um, this is the same building that poet potentially calls home. And in that building, she has a a, a style salon. Which, based on uh, investigations, you know, and information that you're able to glean, it's it's a BDSM mm. salon. Mm-hmm. You know, and she's she's a she's a mistress in that dominatrix. Sense. She's yeah. a dominatrix, absolutely. And, and it kind of makes sense when uh, when Smith Rohan Smith was telling you that you know you'll know her when you see her. Well, if she's that noticeable as a dominatrix, then you'll know when she gets there. Okay. So that's what's being concealed. You believe that she is in that same building. She calls that same building home, which may make sense if, if poets going to have underlings and control, keep the people that are important to him close to him. Okay. I'll set up three different teams to watch that loft. Um, and you know, have them, have it covered however they need to, uh, three different teams to watch it. And then for the thing for lady Morgan, I'll take the information back for the team and I'll meet up with them. And after I do the other things I got to take care of, and then I'll go meet up with them and I'll, we'll meet there. So I am alone. Correct. All I did was drop him off. 
Yeah, you dropped him off, and you're like, I don't know if you're waiting for him. Out of, out of, uh, out of character, I'm, please don't do anything stupid. Oh, <laughs> but the thing of it is, I got to play to the character, my friend. So you left this guy all alone with knowledge on where he could possibly find the person that will lead him to his wife. Oh, yeah. I got to go with that. I got to go with that. So after dropping him off, Lane's basically going to take a nice little drive by roughly where the loft would be. All right. Is it by a park or anything? It's it's close to the downtown area. It's like a converted, what would have been a high rise building a while ago has been converted into lofts and, and, you know, different retail, high end boutique type retail establishments. So do I see the building from my car? Yes. That, okay. Yes. And, and the buildings, the building is actually called the salon. Okay. Uh, looking in at midday, what time is it roughly? Um, it's, yeah, I'd say it was probably roughly two o'clock in the afternoon now. All righty. And uh, windows, can I see through them or no? No, it's too much light outside. This okay. time of day, it's just too bright outside. All right. I'm just going to uh, sit there for a little bit. I'm going to kind of. As I'm sitting in the car, I'm going to kind of take a, out the photo of my wife, just kind of stare at that. And then I'm going to put it in the door I uh, or like put it away, get out of my car like doors. I'm going to go get a haircut at the salon. OK, the building's called the salon. It's not an actual salon. I do, do I know this? No, you do not. Do I, I, dude, I'm, I'm like, oh, playing so the game, man. Yeah, I'm you, playing right. to my character. You have yeah. to see him anybody comes out with a different hairstyle. Well, it's, he's but not they look excited. He, yeah, he doesn't necessarily see anybody. I oh, mean, by the way, I have like the long trench coat on and everything. I have like weapons ever, just yeah, all really packed in. He's, <laughs> he's the Punisher walking in in the middle of the day. Um, man, you walk into the building in your long trench coat and you surprisingly a lot of people walking in in trench coats, <laughs> you know, it's that kind of building. Uh, you step inside and man, this place is posh, super fancy. I mean, and hey, man, there's, there's all kinds of people just going back to the elevators and I mean, there's people sitting down reading newspapers. Nobody reads newspapers anymore, Nope. but there's people down here reading newspapers, setting in there. I mean, three P suits, um, Quick, get Josh. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Tease them all. Wait. Wait, what you? All right, are so, you a um, werewolf? <laughs> I want to stay close to the door. Uh, do I have to roll or anything to see if people to stay look? close to the door? <laughs> no, no. If, <laughs> if people like look suspicious, anything like that. What? Um, I mean, what's like the you guy can, in the trench coat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, 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 right. You know, yes. I know I'm suspicious. There is any other suspicious. motherfucker like me in this bitch? Um, you can, I would say if anything, uh, maybe read a bad situation. I got a total of 11. Okay. Um, on 11, you get to hold three. So you get to ask a question. What's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Are there any dangers I haven't noticed? Absolutely. Everybody that's sitting there in a three piece suit, reading a newspaper is, and kind of chilling out, yes. they're all packing. You can't tell if they're vampires or what they are, but they're all packing. They all have that kind of, you know, they all got that bulge. That, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Al Capone era. About. Three piece got, suit what's the guns. biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Well, first off, fuck the victims. Uh, <laughs> B. <laughs> Uh, B, what's the biggest threat? Uh, the biggest threat I would say is over by the elevator. There's uh, a man who actually looks to be a little larger than most of the other guys here. Also in a, in a very nice suit, straight black. He's so everybody in suits is packing. Yes, you see. I'm going to put there's suits five got people. Me. There's five people sitting around in, in suits that, that look like they're packing. There is a large dude, once again, standing by the uh, elevator doors uh, in an all black suit. And he does not appear to be packing, but he gives you the biggest aura of danger. Well, of course, if he's not packing, that's how you know that it's the spooky stuff. Yes. All righty. Then what are my other uh, selections for questions? Best way in, best way out. Any dangers we haven't noticed? The biggest threat? What's the most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the now, victims? My, what's the most vulnerable to me? I guess I'm confused by that one. Um, I mean, once again, in some situations, that question may not. Yeah, once again, you know, may not. Uh, 
Does that mean like what, what is like what am I the weakness to? Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so are there any? Can I? I've dealt with vampires. Do I see any vampire? You know, people? right off the bat, your gun does more damage to vampires than than normal things. Um, you know, it's just something you've recognized, especially after that last battle where you shot the one in the face and, <laughs> and for some reason kids. you're able to like just demolish that thing. I got a question <laughs> that yeah. directly pertains to what he's doing with the rings. Do, can we tell a vampire by just looking at him no. with the rings on? There's you can no tell, tell, you, tell, you know, they're they're. I mean, ultimately vampires are more human like than most others. So it's, they're, you know, it's not a glamour to hide them, so to speak. It's just, they, they look like normal people. Just ask them if they got a mirror. You can be just like. No, like, is there like a bar in here or anything like that? Or there's a coffee bar. Are you a vampire? You know, there's actually like a barista sitting back there. I mean, you know, with a cappuccino machine. And there's not a bar here. Once again, there's multiple floors that have different businesses. You don't know what the different businesses are on the other floors. Oh, there's so much internal conflict on what to do next. <sighs> no, you just have to decide which stupid action you're going to make. Well, hold on. I don't think I've done anything dumb yet. Just a chill dude walking in a building. that They probably already know who the fuck I am. But, you know, details. You're probably on camera. Mm-hmm. Pipe bomb. Yeah, I actually kind of want to, like, look for a camera. Oh, there's lots of cameras. I just kind of want to look around and everything and just be... Nope, I won't do it. I won't do it. So it'll be... I'll just simply just kind of look around and kind of turn around and walk out. All right, you leave. All right. And then I'm going to, <laughs> dude. You don't know how bad I wanted to just be like. And I open fire on everything in sight, <laughs> just killing everything. Thanks for listening to episode six of the House of Morpheus. Uh, wanted to take a quick minute just to let everybody know that we do have our first two patrons. Want to send a big shout out and a huge thanks to Evan and Nathan. Uh, you guys are the first two to support us here. Uh, we really appreciate it. And thanks a lot from all of us over here at the HHS Studios. Thank you.